trains fly through this station in Hampshire every single day, with only a few stopping. When passengers get off at this station, they are faced with a 3.5 mile walk to the nearest town. So, in an era where the transport industry buckled under the weight of COVID-19, how did this small station, three and a half miles outside of Bewley, manage to survive? And what has it been doing here all this time? This is the mystery of Bewley Road. Bewley, New Forest, Hampshire. Despite being three and a half miles away from the station, this is the town that Bewley Road primarily serves. It is home to the National Motor Museum and the Palace House, house of the Lord Montague of Bewley, a keen railway enthusiast. It is claimed online that the station was made as a favour to one of the ancestors of Lord Montague as the railway ran across the state land. Wishing to clarify this, I spoke to him a little about this. Uh, I was amazed to discover recently that it is claimed on Wikipedia that the station was built for the benefit of my great-grandfather. Well, that is completely untrue. In fact, when the line was built, um, my great-grandfather had not even inherited the Beaulieu estate. So, the rumour was debunked. But Lord Montague, being an expert on Bewley, a place where his family have resided for over two centuries, was able to divulge a little into the history of the station itself. The railway originally opened in 1847, um, but by all accounts the station really got very little use then. Uh, it was very difficult to get to and it closed again in 1860. In the 1890s, there was a definite move from the people of Bewley and perhaps others to get the station reopened. And both my great-grandfather, Henry, and my grandfather, John, who was very interested in railways, uh, were amongst a group that uh, petitioned for the reopening of, of the railway. Since its reopening in 1890, Bewley Road has maintained its place on the main line between London, Waterloo and Weymouth, but it has seen a number of changes happen. This is the Station Master's House, home of Tony Norris, Bewley local and avid railway enthusiast. Tony has used Bewley Road Station for years and has seen the station changing through several decades. He spoke to me a little about the station's usage over this time, particularly during the war. So I'll show you where the, um, uh, the siding was. My family have lived in Bewley since the uh, uh, 1800s. My grandfather, he used to come to Bewley Road because he used to uh, um, deliver all the, um, the pheasant and partridge from the uh, weekend shoot so that they would catch the last train from here and reach the restaurants in, uh, in London. When they opened the railway in 1895, uh, they had to buy a, 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 a bit of land from the, um, the Forestry Commission, the Commissioner of Woods, it was called then, and uh, that's actually what I own now, uh, the yard and uh, this property. Mm. So, uh, if, so we get to, what, 1900, to the First World War, with the uh, siding there, they were then able to sort of load timber and pit props, which is what they did. Uh, I believe that they did use uh, the siding prior or and during the Second World War uh, to uh, unload tanks for D-Day. Having learnt the core history of Bewley Road and what happened in between, I was interested to know why it still existed today. Prior to the 2020 to 2021 travelling season, Bewley Road station had seen its passenger numbers steadily increase year on year. Despite services being sparse in the week, an hourly service still runs on Sunday and there are stopping services taking place from stations like Winchester, Basingstoke and Bournemouth. However, that all changed when Boris Johnson announced a lockdown at the start of 2021 owing to rising cases in the COVID-19 pandemic. This ensured that the 2020 to 2021 travelling season would show a severe drop in passenger numbers. 
Bewley Road was one of the worst hit as it saw its passenger numbers fall by two thirds from over 12,000 passengers to just 4,038. So, how can the station remain open? Where well, it was over 13,000 passengers quieter than Sway, which was the next quietest station in the New Forest. Bewley Road was also the quietest station in Hampshire by a comfortable distance. I took my curiosity and my questions and I headed down to Southampton Central, just an eight minute train journey from Bewley Road to meet Daryl Smith, regional manager for the New Forest area and station manager for Bewley Road. Because Covid has reduced numbers overall, the frequency of the train services has somewhat reduced and that again perhaps has had a, a further impact on, on Bewley Road where you know sometimes it's, it's too hourly before you get a train so you know that, that does actually have an impact on on our ability to serve. It works in partnership with the local authority, um, you know, so they they invest in, in that station, uh, which allows obviously network rail and south it's the main way to keep it as a viable option as a station stop. So while it may not see so much use now, Bewley Road Station has played a good role in the local history with no signs of it closing in the future. The people of Bewley can live peacefully knowing that there will always be a station that they can rely on in the area.